session we would be covering the last 30 questions for the CSET paper 2. Now the first question, it's important to understand there are two elements asked, one is sum and one is average. So sum of 5 members 3 years ago is 80. So five year, sorry, 3 years ago the average of 5 members would be 16. Now if this 16 is the average age, you have one more member that is being added. So the new total age would be 96. Since this age 80 is 3 years ago, you would have 3 years that would be added to all 5 members. So 3 into 5 would be 15 and we will add this 15 to 80 that would be 95. So 95 would be the total age back. So you would have 1 year uh, would be the age of the new baby that is being added. Next question. In this question you have total emoluments which are same that means the basic pay for 1 and allowance for 1 would be equal to basic pay for second and allowance for second. So you would have x plus 0.65x would be equal to y plus 0.8y. When you solve x by y you will get 12 by 11. So d would be the correct answer here. Next question. In this question you have the person who is standing on the first step. So you have a ladder, I am on the first step and then I climb four more steps and I reach the middle. So now I am at the middle. So how many ladders are below, how many steps are below me? Four. So how many should be above? Four. So how many would be in all? So that would be four plus four plus one that would be nine. So nine would be the correct answer. Now this question is a kind of typical question from analytical reasoning where a lot of students got confused. What we have to do here is define A, B and C. The best way to solve is tabulate it, garments, color and surname. Now C, B are style that is given. B, neither B nor Riberio wore the white sweater. So B did not wear sweater. C already has tie. So the only option for sweater would be A. And now B and Riberio are different person and both of them are not wearing sweater. So this would be Riberio. Again, Riberio does not like to wear black color. So you have to have sweater with white color that is given. Okay. Riberio does not like black color. So Riberio would like blue color. You have white and blue, so the only color remains is black. Sweater and tie, so the only thing remains is jacket. Now again, Kumar does not wear a jacket, so this cannot be Kumar. So this would be Kumar and this would be Singh. We have the complete table ready. Now we have to just answer. So C's surname would be Riberio. Next, you would have color of the tie, so tie would be of blue color. And who wears the sweater? So sweater would be worn by A. So these would be the correct answers. Next question. You have AB as a tree. It broke at point C and falls down. So it is 12 meters. It falls down, broke, still attached and it is 5 meters away. So by Pythagoras we can say this would be 30. And this part is the part of the tree that has broken down. So when I calculate the original height of the tree, I will include this 12 and this 13 which was standing before. So you will have 12 plus 13 that would be 25. So 25 would be the original height of the tree. Next question, you have person walking in different direction. Now this is an interesting and confusing question. So 12 kilometers north, then 15 kilometers east, then I do 19 kilometers west. So this 15 plus 4 more and then 15 kilometers south. So this is already 4 and this would be 12 as per this and this would remain 3. So the distance would be again you would have to apply Pythagoras. So 4 square plus 3 square under root that would be 5. So 5 would be the correct answer here. Now you have a cube that is cut into smaller piece such that each side is 1 fourth. So you have let's take this as one side of the cube. Now I am trying to make the side one fourth. So these are the number of cubes I would have to divide. Now all the four middle ones would have one side painted. These would have two side painted the top and the side one. And these corner ones would have three side painted. So there are six faces of the cubes. We know two up, uh, up and bottom and four sides. So you have six faces and each face would have four, color, uh, four pieces which are one color. So you have 24 pieces in all which have one side painted. 
नेक्स्ट दिस इज अ कंबाइंड रेट प्रॉब्लम नाउ श्याम एंड राम कैन डू अ जॉब टूगेदर इन फोर डेज एंड विच इज सिक्सटी परसेंट हाउ एवर श्याम कैन डू द रिमेनिंग फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द जॉब इन एट डेज सो आई कैन कैलकुलेट एट बाय फोर्टी इन टू हंड्रेड दैट वुड बी ट्वेंटी नाउ अगेन राम कैन डू द सिक्सटी परसेंट जॉब इन फोर डेज सो फोर बाय सिक्सटी इंटू हंड्रेड सो आई हैव ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री नाउ आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रेट ऑफ राम अलोन सो द रेट ऑफ श्याम वुड बी वन बाय ट्वेंटी प्लस रेट ऑफ राम वुड बी वन बाय एक्स एंड दैट वुड बी द कम्बाइंड रेट थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी नाउ आई हैव टू जस्ट कैलकुलेट एक्स एंड दैट वुड बी टेन सो टेन वुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर हियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन you have the codes and you have to do a kind of coding decoding uh, problem so what you have you have to break this into set of two and then reverse it so tem would become met so frac and chan would be reverse so it would become c r a f and n o i t so that would be the correct answer d next question you have a problem on divisibility and lcm so here what you have to do is you have R and S is integer, so let's consider them to be five and ten. So if they are five and ten, if I do ten minus five, I get divided by five. That's true. However, if I do ten plus five, it would become fifteen, and it is not divisible by ten. So B would be the incorrect option here. Next question: How many numbers are there between hundred and three hundred, which either begin with or end with two? So I have hundred to one ninety nine, and then two hundred to 299 and there are 100 numbers which begin with 2 and in this i would have 102 112 122 so on till 192 which are 10 and these 10 end with 2 so the total number which either begin with or end with 2 would be 10 plus 100 which would be 110 so 110 would be the correct answer now these are the questions based on passages so the first passage talks about the demand for the food uh, which is based on animals so you have for this question first would be the correct answer because our demand for food source from animals puts a greater burden on the natural resources next question this talks about a permanent change in the food habit due to genetic change in the genetic composition so you have b as the correct answer here because some of the species are still lactose intolerant while others have become lactose tolerant so b would be the correct answer next question this passage explains about the conceptual difficulties in national income comparison and that is due to the existence of non commercialized sector in underdeveloped countries so b would again be the correct answer for this question next you are talking about the increase in human made carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so when we are talking about human made carbon dioxide it, this passage says more carbon dioxide means more trees more trees means more bacteria in the soil this more bacteria will generate again more carbon dioxide from the soil and which would again lead to more tree and increasing the green cover would definitely trigger the carbon trapped into the soil so d would be the correct answer here next question this question basically focuses on the demand and supply in agriculture which is the biggest challenge and this is a prerequisite for the hunger and the starvation that could be seen globally so based on this you have first question which of the following are fundamental solutions to food security problem so when i talk about food security problem improving the affordability by poor is important because even if you have the supply there is shortage of demand because of the lack of purchasing power and there is a need to regulate the conditions of market so b and 2 uh, and 3 would be the correct answer in this case the next talks about the biggest challenge to the world in the field of agriculture so the biggest challenge is to maintain a demand and supply once you have a demand and supply it would form the prerequisite for the hunger and eradication of hunger so d would be the primary important thing here so d would be the correct answer next question which of the following helps in reducing the hunger and starvation balancing demand and supply and increasing purchasing power would be the two things that would balance or reduce the hunger and starvation so one and three would be the correct option here and finally you have 
the issue of worldwide supply of food has gained importance because of the limitation in the capability of sustained supply of food so three only would be the correct answer now next question this is a kind of very tricky question there are two things that you need to start with start with two, uh, three and four so four should not appear in the end so it should start with two three and four should it be started and it should end in one two and three now all the combinations can be two with one two with three then you have three with one and three with two then you have four with it cannot go with one because two and three will come close which cannot be possible so four with two and four with three so these are the possible options now what can be allowed and what cannot be allowed so one should not follow three three can follow one two should not come with three and three should not come with two now if i put the remaining values here 4 3 3 4 uh, 4 1 1 4 uh, 2 3 2 four 1 1 4 3 1 1 3 and 2 1 and 1 2 so here 1 3 is following so it cannot be option 2 3 is following so these two will not be option you would have 1 3 that is following so this cannot be option this can be you have 3 1 4 1 this all can go then you have 3 followed by 2 so this cannot be the option then you have uh one followed by three so this cannot be the option and then you have two three coming together so this cannot be the option so the options can be you would have one two three four five and six so six possible combinations are allowed so answer would be a six next you have a cylindrical overhead tank so what you have to find is the volume of the overhead tank and the underground tank so volume of the overhead tank would be pi r square h when you solve it you would get it as 88 then you would have the underground tank when you solve this or multiply all of these you would have the underground tank as 132 now 88 is already gone in the overhead tank so what remains is 132 minus 88 that would be 44 And 44 would remain out of the total 132, so it would be one third of the total capacity. Next question: You have 60 students. Girls are twice the boys, so let the boys be x. So the girls would be 2x. So x plus 2x would be 60. So I calculate x is 20, which are boys, and uh, 2x, which is girls, would be 40. Now Kamal is standing on the 17th position. Nine are girls. So how many are boys, including Kamal? There would be eight plus nine would be 17. So eight boys before. Total there are 20 boys. Eight boys are before. So how many boys would be after 20 minus eight? That would be 12. So 12 would be the correct answer here. Next question. Now here you have again a combined rate problem. If you can view our video, that would be of great help. on combined rate so you have a and b start walking in opposite direction from the same point so a starts from here walks this way b walks this way on a circle now the total rate the total rounds per minute would be uh, per hour would be 5 so 5 rounds in 1 hour so 60 minutes you have 5 rounds that means every 12 hours they will meet now the total time we have is 1 hour 30 minutes that means you have 90 minutes at hand so how many times 12 multiples they would meet so they will meet at 12 24 36 so they will meet till 84 that is 12 sevens are 84 so they will meet seven times and then you would have six minutes remaining at which they would be on the opposite side so every time they will meet at different positions so you would have they would cross seven times and then you would have six minutes extra that would be left next question you have to find out who will complete the work first so for w if 25% of the work can be done in 30 days total work would be done in 120 days x takes 1/4 of the work in 10 days so total days would be 
Y can do 40% of the work in 40 days, so 100% of the work in 100 days, and Z can complete one third of the work in 13 days, so 13 3 is a 39 would be the total number of days he would require. So out of these, Z would complete the work at its fastest. Next question. You have the average family income that is given as 10,000 for 5 people. So the total family income would be 50,000. Now one person gets an additional salary of 1,20,000 per year. That means divided by 12 would be 10,000 per month. So there is an increase in the average salary by 10,000. So the new average salary of the household becomes 60,000. If I divide it by 5, the average salary of the household would become 12,000. So 12,000 would be the correct answer here. Next question, here you have a bucket which is placed at a distance uh, which is given as 5 meters from the first apple. So this is the bucket. It is at 5 meters from the first apple and then 3 meters apart is the next apple. So next apple would be 8 meters, then would be 11 meters, then would be 14 meters, 17 meters and 20 meters apple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 apples are done. Now every apple I am going, taking and coming back. So 5 plus 5, 8 plus 8 and so on. So what we can do easily is first add all these values. So sum of all these values would be 75. Now that is the time taken to go. Now the time taken to come back would be 75 into 2 that would be 150. So 150 would be the total time that we would take. Next question, you have the various bands that are given. What do you have to find out? The probability that the arrow falls in the red region. So first is red, then you have blue, yellow and white. The total diameter is 1 meter, that means the radius is 0 0.5. And for the red region, that is the innermost region, the radius is 0 0.2. Now probability would vary with the area. So you would have 0 0.2 square by 0.5 square. So you would have 0 0.5 by 0 0.25 into 100. So you would have a variation in the ratio of 0.16. So 0.16 would be the correct answer in this case. Next question and the last question. Here you have the marked price as 770. Now if you have the marked price as 770, you are selling it at a 10% discount means minus 70 rupees sorry minus 77 rupees so this would give you the selling price so i am selling the commodity at 693 rupees when i am selling it at 693 rupees i am making a gain of 10 percent so my 10 percent gain would be 693 minus my cost price divided by my cost price into 100 solving this i get x is equal to 630 so you have 630 as the cost price the selling price would be 693 and the mark price was 770 so with this we cover the set of uh, the complete set of paper 2 for cset examination we would be covering more videos related to general studies which will be helpful for your mains exam you can subscribe to our channel for further updates have a good day ahead